for tuning in for Cents Per Mile. I'm your host, host Charles Gracie. And I'm your co-host, Paul Gibson. Uh, just before we get started, everybody, uh, if you're watching, or you're listening, or you're here, uh, like, subscribe, rate, wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, so how's it going, Charles? Uh, pretty good. You got shorter, man. Uh, I think I got shrunk, I guess. Just in case you are wondering, this is Charles Gracie Jr., everybody. Uh, and today, we're going to talk about trucking. Um, real quick, I got to check. Um, this isn't against any child labor laws, is it? <laughs> We are here with Bill Trotter. Do you need a special license to drive a race car? Uh, I just drive mine without it. Can you recruit me to drive the race car? I've got the car for you at Trotter there. It's a simulator. Uh, <laughs> that's what I feel the most comfortable with you driving right now. Are you enjoying Matt's? I noticed you have a friend. What's your name? Brown. Don't need my mic. We are here at the Clean Harbors booth. Uh, and here is Chris Gonzalez's natural environment on the phone. <laughs> How we doing today? Yeah, that's great. We're doing great today. Just enjoying all the uh, visitors that we've got at the booth and looking for some uh, people that want to give us a good honest day's work for an honest day's pay. I am. I, I love uh, you know the lower price items. You know the uh, the Sam's Choice versions. Have you guys ever thought about coming out with a Sam's Choice model of truck? Sam's Choice model of truck. I've never considered that. If you, Caroline, but it'd probably be a wonderful idea. Or save money and live better, right? How's it going? <laughs> guys, hey, you guys. So I noticed you don't have a laptop or anything. Are you brokering on, are you, are you doing all the loads on paper right now? Oh, I'm not really doing any loads. This is really just for, like, information. We go in Monday morning and we'll, you know, make it happen. So, but you're not brokering any loads right now. Do I look like I am? You're here first. Brokers don't actually do anything. <laughs> Josh, stop looking at yourself in the mirror. What are you doing? So, uh, Charles, so you drive a big truck. You've driven actual big trucks. Yeah. Whenever you did drive big trucks, did you ever drive a stretch like that? I did not. It would be like turning a tank. I am impressed by anyone that actually works in one of these trucks. Fair enough. Today at Matt's, I have Ed from Seven Fleet. Tell me a little bit about your Matt's experience. What brings you here? So this is probably the eighth year coming to Matt's. Uh, one of the things that I really like about Matt's is we get to come here and actually interact with not only the truck drivers, but the trucking industry in general. It's one of the only like one-stop shops where you can actually see anything and everything to do with the uh, trucking industry. I like it because it's kind of four shows in one. You've got the recruiting uh, you've got kind of like over here in the West Wing, you got all the different accessories that customers can buy. Uh, you also have the truck show outside, and then you have the trade show like over in the North Wing. Tell me a little bit about what you got going. Yeah, so it's a it's a unique um, truck. So, uh, you know, a lot of different trucks you can see here at the truck show, but I think the only one that you can see that actually has uh, Slurpee machines is our Slurpee truck. Uh, and so that's uh, something unique that 7-Eleven has. Uh, I think we have five of those that actually uh, tour the country and go to different events, and so we're we're honored to have it here and be able to, you know, share that with the uh, with the trucking industry. All right, so this is uh, El Diablo Loco. This is inspired by one of our buddy's uh, uncles. If you get in the back and look, you're gonna see. Uh, uh, there's a movie duel. Our favorite movie is playing right now, but there's a picture that was. Uh, Created and then his uncle's cowboy hat up there. We built this truck in about a month. Um, now we're based out of Vegas and just built Amazing. something to, to kind of show off. And we built that truck at the same time. That's a daily driver. Oh, back there's there. more. There's a there's more. custom truck and the yeah. truck. It's a seven. This is uh, sweet. A '67 Dodge. I'll tell you what. I got a 12 year old. He works very hard. I'll trade him. Yeah. For this, yeah, yeah, either one of these. We've had heard that numerous times, and we got our turbo kit that's sticking through the hood on the front of it. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna have him take over as host. I'm just gonna sit here and drool on this for the next <laughs> like couple hours. So you're you're in, man. You're killing it. So obviously, from Kansas City, Charles makes fun of my hats all the time, but he's a Bears fan, so it doesn't matter. But if you recall, back a few episodes ago, we reviewed this Bill's truck. So this is Buffalo Bill's themed Peterbilt, right? Um, and it's even got a jacuzzi. We're at Matt's and they're here. We actually covered your truck 
uh, on our podcast. Your truck is absolutely amazing. Thank you. To a T. We wanted to confirm or deny. Do you actually outsource Josh Allen's tears to fill the jacuzzi? <laughs> no, no, there's none needed. He doesn't cry. He's not a crybaby. <laughs> uh, fair enough. <laughs> but dude, that is a sick truck. What's your like favorite details about the truck? I'm a detail guy, but like my hood ornament is a buffalo. Uh, the, the grill has charging buffaloes coming out of the motor, as well as on the side, I have a decal or graphics on the of those charging buffaloes on the back i have that's my logo mafia on the move this truck has a 100 gallon tank and a 30 gallon tank so if i know i'm gonna use the, the jacuzzi i'll put more water in that 100 gallon tank i usually run with about 60 gallons and that'll get me a week's worth of showers you know and uh so it doesn't draw that much but some of the things i did i got a sign josh allen um jersey um i got a marv levy sign football all the interiors uh bison leather you'll see uh all the buttons are buffalo nickels buffalo handles for the cabinets i, I do karaoke a lot so <laughs> i had a microphone shifter to continue on our review of mats and going around uh behind me you can see all of the steering wheel holders favorite booth it's uh, becoming more increasingly obvious what kind of driver he actually was. Wow, we're here and we got Safety Sammy. Do you have any words for us here at Matt's? You heard it here from Safety Sammy, folks. No words. This is our NTA mascot, Safety Sammy, promoting highway safety out there. All right, real news, there is fake money all over the floor of Matt's. And if you open it up, it is for... Uh, save time, save money. Bye, right, Charles. Veterans and Trucking Showcase. You ready for this? Always. So good to meet you in real life. Good. Good to meet y'all. How'd you, how'd you end up here? Well, the company select uh, a veteran to come in, represent the company in the uh, Mid-America Truck Show. I was here last year. This is my second year doing it. And I'm actually having a good time here. Where's the self-driving button? Well, this is not a self-driving truck. I'm, <laughs> I'm the driver. It's all designed to load the car safely and unload them safely without getting the driver hurt or getting any of the units uh, damaged or any kind of way while you're loading or unloading the, uh, the truck. Thinking no better spokesperson for this company than the one I'm talking mm -hmm. to right now. So thank you for your service. You're welcome. I'm a 30-year uh, 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 Marine, uh, sergeant enlisted, uh, retired as a lieutenant colonel. I uh, wanted to continue to serve, uh, which I wanted to do uh, being boots on the ground, you know, because uh, what kind of fun is it having a, de uh, having a job behind a desk? So, hey, I wanted to continue to serve just like I just said. Uh, so, uh, what better way of doing that than uh, being a truck driver? This is James, and uh, this is his truck. What is your favorite addition since you're always changing this thing? The favorite addition that I've done to this truck recently is the underglow system on this truck. So when this truck's here next year, and you're always changing stuff, are we gonna get a spoiler alert of what to expect to change on this for next year? No. Right now, we're joined by the winners of the Veterans in Trucking Showcase of Trucks. Trucking pros, you heard it here first, folks. Hey, Jason, Rick, tell us about your experience at Matt's. It, it, for me, for me, it's been awesome. It's the first one I've ever been to, you know, and I loved it. Everybody's been great, met a lot of people, learned a lot of stuff. And you have an awesome truck. An awesome truck. Awesome. It's a bit bad. <laughs> Yo, and so this is a podcast. You can say that. Okay. That's, 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 that's not the way to tell. We're not TV. You can, you can say whatever you want to do. <laughs> and, and Jason, how's it feel? Two years in a row. Two years. Well, first of all, it's good to be back. Uh, it's probably been 12 years since I've been here. Uh, we won it last year and, and uh, really wanted to come back and, and defend our title. Uh, we put a lot of work into the truck, uh, designing it to uh, really celebrate veterans. And uh, that's what this is all about. And uh, we're just... We're humbled uh, to be part of this with amazing other carriers and veterans um, like Rick and and to recognize them is, is, is special. What is the secret? I'm assuming it's the Matt Raps, but what is your what is your secret to winning? I tell you what, um, the guy that does it with us, uh, Justin at Auto Trimmers out of uh, Shoreview, Minnesota, he's extremely talented and it, he he understands what I'm trying to get after and and uh, kind of re reads my mind a little bit. He gets and, we, and he get he understands where, what I'm at, what I'm trying to do, and I'm, I'm I'm just trying to do something really special. The part that probably gives me the the chills is our saying up top: "All gave some, and some gave all." Yeah. Um, 
that just resonates. It gives me goosebumps. Um, the detail in the ribbon and, and having, having each side of the truck with different embedded pictures, that was really cool because typically on wraps, it's the same thing on each side. It's right? mirrored. It's yeah. mirrored. And, and this isn't a mirrored truck. Um, that, that's really the cool part about it. Um, yeah, you have to walk every inch of it, and there's something different. And I tell people when they're taking a photo, you know, 15 feet away, it looks just almost matte black, especially if you get a little bit of the glare. Um, and then when you start walking closer, all of these images start popping out. Yeah. And that's that's really the cool part. That's the detail in it. That's uh, There's stuff I find on it that I maybe didn't even see yesterday. I mean, I've been around this truck for almost a week. And every day I see something new. Every day. Yeah, I, I'm you know? seeing something new right now. A two-year <laughs> champion. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do next year, but uh, we're going to come back and try and defend it and three-peat it. We're having a great day. A lot of interesting stuff happening. And what would it be without adding the Willie Nelson? I like the way you said that because uh, it's not the, it's not a, it's the Willie Nelson. Yep. Oh, yeah. and, and, and Willie, what brings you to Matt's? What brings you to Matt's? I'm here spreading the gospel. I'm here giving the, the good news about CDL Live for the biggest driver-focused news, entertainment, subscription, app, news blog there is out there. That, all, all of it. That was like a mouthful. Like when I was studying for my pre chip test for my CDL, you had to regurgitate this so many times that you were saying it in your sleep. I imagine playing this out of my head that that's how that goes. Oh, yeah. Just CDL <laughs> Life. It's everything you need to know. Stop well, right there. That's true. And well, I mean, the thing is, Zio's also listing off like four different things. It's like the biggest truck driver community in the app, news, entertainment, uh, website, or truck drivers. And like, I think especially when you think about like social media, because it, when you boil it down, that's what it is. What's that? Social, you know, you're just trying to connect with people, but also media. So you can take pictures of like your food or something like Twitter. But see, that's why we go to Facebook. When you go to CDL Live, it's to talk about, you know, burning gears, keeping the rubber side down. This ain't your high school Facebook group. This is CDL Live. It's a professional social network for the CDL professional driver. And they have a Willie Nelson. Oh, yeah. Yep. At me. Find me. Big the Willie underscore 86 on the app. Get me. <laughs> so we just had a great conversation with CDL Live and Willie Nelson. And the only thing that I can think of that would make this even better would be to talk to somebody at Hot Seat Services. Kevin from Hot Seat <laughs> Services is here. I'm glad to be here. So Kevin, tell us about the truck show. How do you like it? I like it. You get to meet a lot of people, get your name out there, meet a lot of truck drivers, new companies, shake a lot of hands, kiss a lot of babies. <laughs> well, all right. So I always say shake a lot of hands, rub a lot of elbows, try not to drop a lot of babies. So I guess you're no, on the right track here. No babies have been dropped under my watch. Fair enough. Obviously, you know, you talk to drivers on the phone, but like, what's it like talking to drivers in person versus the phone? What do you prefer? I much prefer to talk to them on the, in person. I grew up in dispatch talking to drivers every day. Um, so that's more personal, more face to face, get to put a face with a name. Yeah. I just would love to meet them in person rather than over the phone. All right. So you're here, you're talking to drivers, you're talking to carriers. And not dropping babies. And not, not dropping, dropping babies. babies. He's focused on career advancement, folks. That's right. And not going to jail. <laughs> not a suit. What's a common thing that you've had a conversation about this time around versus last year? Well, this year we have a lot of smaller fleets. Uh, they're just now starting off. They got one truck they're looking to build. So we get a lot of those. We work with small companies up to big companies. Whatever your needs are, we're here to help fill them. So we were walking around yesterday, and we got to meet a lot of great people. You know, I met a 3 million mile road captain safe driving driver. So did you get to shake his hand and meet him? Yeah, so it wasn't a steering wheel holder because there was no steering wheel. It mm -hmm. just had two hands out of the side of a cartoon truck. Oh, um, nice. I got to talking with them and found out the mascot and the people that work in those uh, costumes are million plus mile safe driving driver, professional drivers. Um, and now they work at the ATA as the mascot. Let me throw this out there. Wouldn't it be better to actually meet the driver itself? I did, inside the costume. Did you crawl in the costume and have to meet him? No, that would make us a team of safe drivers. Oh, oh I got it. <laughs> We're here at the truck show where the trucks are at the truck show. Whoa, you ready to look around? Let's check it out. Nice. Oh, look at the tires on those things. I'm like 5'9". Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, we got a show dog going on over here. 
clearly a working truck. Dude, 90 miles from Cuba. Dude, it looks amazing, but I also kind of wonder, I wonder, like, I wonder how much heat that absorbs. Sometimes I just look at uh, some of these bumpers, like, just like one pothole. Jeez, that is sick. I'm not actually gonna sit down, but I kind of just want to take a seat. All oh, fits inside the rim. I'm huge. That green is amazing. Mm -hmm. Detail on those tanks is sick. We're here in the Oida trailer with uh, with Marty. And uh, so yeah, man, I just didn't know if you wanted to talk about maybe like the top three pressing things going on right now with you guys. Yeah, right now, of course, uh, we're working on the parking bill. Uh, it's now in the uh, Senate and the House, both, and that's pretty rare. And then, of course, the speed limiters, uh, you know, it's raising its ugly head. They're talking by June, they're going to have something out. So uh, we're wanting everybody, member, not, doesn't matter, brother, sister, everybody, to put in comments once they open that back up. And then, uh, of course, I mean, just the, the regular stuff that we're just trying to keep those guys from you know the trackers on the trucks and and the elds you know we want them to keep on working at any more flexibility from the eight and two or the seven and three and of course any help that uh, anybody can give us that'd be great fightingfortruckers.com website and that's for anybody doesn't have to be a member you can go on and send your comments to the fmcsa and your elected officials and you can actually do it within a couple minutes doesn't take a lot of time we've really streamlined it for you Oh, that grill is like super badass. 96 Freightliner Classic. So, uh, it's the last day of Matt's. Have you seen anything cool? How's it feel to sell mats at Matt's? Pretty good. <laughs> is it, does it work? Did I just give you a t shirt idea? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there it is. It is a bar. Look at all this chrome. This is the Mercer bar. What is up with the car? It's our Ambest. Ambux loyalty program for drivers, and that's the grand prize for this coming year. Every time they swipe their card at our service centers or fuel stops, they enter to win. That is amazing. We're always up to shenanigans, and here's one of our shenanigans for Mats. All right, guys, here's the deal. You have 30 minutes to go as far out as you should, get as much shit to put in these bags as you can, and be back. The cutoff to be back is exactly at 1 p.m. Ready? Set, grab shit. What is this all about? What is Race Across America about? We have three pillars we want to remember, honor, and teach. Our veterans, Reese, are what we put out every year, and we are all sponsored Reese to remember our veterans, honor those who have served, and teach the next generation about freedom and how it isn't always free. Those roller hot dogs at the concession stand, they were looking pretty good after day three of Matt's. <laughs> you ate a three-day-old hot dog? It could have been three It might have been from the last convention. It's concerning. I actually like the dogs that we meet, the real ones, not the hot dogs. I did see someone with a Wait, they're not one in the same? Oh, I hope not. I, mean, I liked Fluffy. We did have a conversation the other day. No one's really sure where, you know, you, you don't know what parts of the meat are in the hot dog. So I think that's kind of fair. <laughs> sure, Zender. I mean, have you usually just go watch how it's made about hot dogs? So I'm going to be a vegetarian. They say companies are just trying to put meat in the seat. Like hot dog makers, <laughs> they're literally just putting meat in a tube. They're taking the seat and the meat. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Dude, this booth is probably like the hottest thing I've seen. At Mass. All right, so uh, it is one o'clock and it is time to check in with Charles and our driver. And our third man is back. Third we place. This face from the milk curtains that you just had printed. At least he's here. But you're the winner, and who are you with? My name is Rob Satarski. I'm with Hanson and Atkins Auto Transport. Um, I, I'm in charge of customer service, dealer relations, driver relations, driver retention and um, I work hand in hand with our recruiting department. So, love being here, it's awesome. Thank you guys. Congratulations on all your shit. All right, so now we are here with some members of Real Women in Trucking. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys introduce yourselves because you're gonna do it better than I, than I will. Uh, I am Jess Graham and I'm on the board of directors of Real Women in Trucking. And as I said, I'm semi-famous because I drive a truck and I'm famous. No, just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> And I've been with Real Women in Trucking since 2019. Hi, so my name is Natalie Hasselfadia, also known as 
spicy trucker and i am also on the board member of real women and trucking as well. so tell us a little bit about what you're all about over there so i think every other group is focused on recruiting because that's the big buzzword this year and well in the last 50 years of program. yeah like every year uh, so yeah everybody's focused on recruiting and we are focused on advocacy so we would rather change what's going on before we try and bring other people in like let's fix our fix the house before we sell it absolutely you're here at mads talking to a lot of people i imagine you guys are a very popular booth so tell us a little bit about what you're hearing what's going on out there yesterday the first three people that walked up to us that were women mentioned that like their drivers for 10 15 20 years and they're still being paid the same as what guys that just came in in six months so there's still i mean trucking doesn't discriminate and like the truck like the doesn't truck. know who's driving it but yet women are still being paid less you know you you have these companies like who sure we want to bring women into the industry and then you put them in there with a dude and you don't vet the dude before you do it no yeah so that's one of the topics that we really like to address and bring forward because of the fact that there's like you said there's not a lot of us in the industry and we want to encourage more females to come out but we want them to be aware of what can happen because it's one of the things that they like to sweep underneath the rug and if they don't want to talk about it so let's say i wanted to become a truck driver and i go with the company and I wanted to start within two, three weeks, and then I find out my the only female truck driver that can take me out to train me, I have to wait three months before I could even go with her. So I'm like, I can't, you know, just not work or, you know, so then I'm like, okay, fine, I'll suck it up and I'm gonna go on the truck with a male truck driver. And then what happens is they take advantage because you're like in a vulnerable, vulnerable you know, spot where, well, I'm not going to pass you or you're not going to get your license. You know, I think you said it great way to win earlier when you said uh, that the truck doesn't discriminate. No. The truck doesn't know who's behind the wheel. No, it's the HR department and the recruiting department that discriminate. So say someone wanted to look more into your organization or to get help or reach out. What's the best way to do that? Realwomenintrucking.org. Awesome. We're on all the social medias at Women Truckers. And so we're, we're out there. You can you can find us. Uh, great organization. Check it out. And uh, thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by the on the podcast. Yeah. Uh, thanks for having us. We definitely played a wonderful joke on uh, the Mercer Mercer Brokerage Department. Uh, but Mercer is actually a company that is near and dear to my heart. Uh, I've never worked there. I've definitely done some work with them. Uh, but uh, you know, obviously, being an owner operator is the end goal, right? Um, yeah. for most people, like 90% of people get in a truck with the idea of like, oh man, I'd love to own my own or truck and run my own company. Um, and then the first time someone told me about Mercer, I was like, you know, you guys are all owner operators. And I was like, why, if you built up to that point to where you're an owner operator, why would you want to sign on to a company if you're at that point? Well, and not only do we, we offer that to the owner operators, you know, that are signing on with Mercer. We also have our brokerage department where we offer to broker out freight to outside carriers as well. So either way, if you still want to run under your authority and you still want to book Mercer freight, you can still call me and I'm going to try to find you something. And it's not like, oh, I'm going to treat you like, you know, different because you're not running under Mercer's authority. For me, the guys that run under their own authority that call me every day, that I talk to every day, they're my company drivers. Just like how in, you know, the other side of Mercer, their company drivers are their company drivers. My guys are my company drivers too, so. Well, they're not company drivers. Before. But they're not, you know, but that's how I treat them. Right. And that's important because in a lot of places, it you put your company drivers first and then the owner operators get what left. They take care of their own. And Mercer... You guys actually treat them all like they're one big happy family. Yeah, well, on a, just an employee side, I can say that Mercer cares about the people that they hire in. It doesn't matter if you're if you're driving for them. It doesn't matter if you're working in their home office. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, you're pulling a load for us and you run under your own authority and got your own company and been running for us for a couple of years. You know, it doesn't matter. If you are going to work for Mercer, then Mercer is going to care about you. Well, that's awesome. And so if someone wanted to reach out to you guys, they were interested in pulling some of the freight you had, how would they get in touch with you? 
Um, so you can call our uh, brokerage department. So if you're wanting to haul freight under your own authority, you call into our brokerage department. Of course, they have a number. It's 800 number. It's like 800-643-1262. And you can talk to any of the ladies and qualifications. They'll help you get set up. And then there's a bunch of coordinators, which is also another free service that we offer out to you guys, you know, which is what I do. Anytime you want to call into one of us and post your truck or find loads in the area, we can always do that for you. I have like seven to 12 pages of boards of guys that are just drivers that drive under their own authority that I call all the time. And I'm like, hey, do you need a load? Hey, where are you guys at today? Do you need me to post your truck? Hey, are you doing okay? Just checking in with you because that's, you know, like I said, we're here for them, so. That's nice. Did you imagine that thing, if that thing has like some purple underglow? Oh my God. Do you see this interior? Breaking the mall there. Dude, that is clean. Dude, even, even, even the wheels, dude. Yeah. Dude. This is literally like a house on wheels. This, this is where you could take your extended family on a road trip. That is awesome. Look, how much you want to bet that Jeep goes right on up at the bed trailer? The, the detail on like all the artwork on the side. Firefighter tripping. That's amazing. Playing with fire. Ah, oh, dude. The striping. Dude, check out the fifth wheel. It's like totally crumbed out. Dude, everything. Yeah. Dude, and I just love, I love the interior. That's awesome. Button work, pinstripe. The engine. Engine. Straight up, like, all of it. That is sick. See, that's dedication. Yeah, dude. Oh, dude, wait. Oh, oh, my God. You see, like, like the lights and everything underneath? That is dope. I want to know on a scale of 1 to 10, how tired are you right now? Um, I think I broke that scale. I'll tell you what, man, I can use a 34. <laughs> So that was uh, Maths 2023. You know, I hope you enjoyed the content over the weekend. This is probably about the last you're going to hear of it because we don't want to beat a dead horse. But next week, what are we doing, Charles? Vegas. 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 Yep. We are going to be at the 10th Street User Conference, uh, checking out the back end of the industry, seeing how stuff works. Uh, and we're going to take you guys along for uh, part of the ride. We look forward to seeing you in Las Vegas from the 10th Street User Conference. And we want to thank CDL Life and Hot Seat Services for making this happen. Other than that, I'm your host, Charles Gracie. And I'm your co-host, Paul Gibson. See you next time. <laughs>